Hello everyone, my name is Tokreva, and this is just a short update video letting you know that tomorrow there is an embargo lift on Stellaris. And I got an early copy, and I've been playing quite a bit already. It's really, really, really good fun. And tomorrow there will be not one, two, three, eight Stellaris videos. Because I'm, uh, I'm like, yeah, it's the first day that everyone can see the game. Why not show it in bulk? So there's going to be an episode sh where I show you how you create your own empire. And then there's going to be the start of the first Let's Play. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is exactly. But I am going to tell you what is Stellaris. Because apparently some people don't yet know this. Um, so Stellaris is Paradox Development Studios' new game, and it's basically Europa Universalis in space, like way up there. Um, yeah, th this is what it looks like. Yes. Well, actually, that's just my mouse map that I've had since Gamescom last year, where they announced it, and. It's kind of sad in the sense that it has come out before Hearts of Iron 4, which I know will also be very big on the channel, uh, because apparently many of you are here because of Hearts of Iron, and I love that game, so... But Stellaris actually comes out now, uh, this Monday, a week, you know, a month even, before Hearts of Iron 4 comes out, and um, I hope to get as much content out for Hearts of Iron 4. But Stellaris, what is it? It is... A space building game, a space civilization meets civilization meets Europe in Rosales in space, and you get to create your own empire, uh, playing against AI or other people. There's multiplayer. There's just all kinds of stuff. It's the game is for a newly released game. It's pretty damn big, uh, and what you can do, what you can see and meet, and everything else. It's I'm having a blast, despite that my computer is not the very best to handle it, sadly. Um, it could do a lot better. I'm getting a new computer in a few months, so then it should be even better. Uh, but yeah. It just graphically doesn't keep up with the game and the amount of things it needs to calculate, sadly. At least that's what I think it is. It might also just be this build that actually has this... The press release build that is not as optimized for the computers on the lower edge of the recommended specs because my computer is above recommended specs. So, despite it being like six years old. But that's all besides the point. The game is still a whole lot of fun. There will be eight videos tomorrow. Not only that, at 6 a.m. Uh, Central European Summertime, 5 a.m. GMT. Yeah. Well, that's actually GMT plus one right now, so it's... What is it actually? G GMST, maybe? Greenwich Main Summertime? GST? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, 6 a.m. Western Europe, 5 a.m. Great Britain, uh, midnight, East Coast, U.S., 9 o'clock, uh, West Coast, U.S., on the 4th. Um, I will also be streaming. Uh, that's the exact time the embargo goes up, and that's the time I will be streaming the game. On twitch.tv slash Uh And of course I got space themed shirts. I'll be streaming the game all week. Uh, when I have time. When I want to. In between recording and other games. I mean I still have to play other games as well. Because if I just play Stellaris. I'm going crazy. I would think I would be in outer space by then. But yeah Stellaris. Oh man. It's so good. Um, yeah so. There will be, at least, at the very least this entire weekend, there's only going to be Stellaris on the channel. Only Stellaris. I'm up to 12 episodes right now of the Let's Play, and there will be more. I will look into actually getting the Twitch content out on YouTube as well, so you don't miss that. Um, what I can say is, on YouTube I'm playing a peaceful empire. On Twitch, I will be playing an evil empire. <laughs> so, there will be difference in uh, what I play. I'm not continuing the Let's Play on Twitch, because I want to keep those sort of separate, but still together. If 
you get what I mean. But yeah, so, oh, Stellaris. Well, I mean, I've had friends whispering me, like, oh my god, what the fuck, how do you already have come, uh, have access to the game? Um, the only things I'm allowed to say is that I can play it, that it's awesome, and that, um, that I, yeah, that I have access. That's the only thing I can say right now, so... And that it's awesome. It's an awesome game. Just awesome. But that's really all I can say. That's not a review. It's just an opinion on like, oh my god. But yeah, tomorrow you'll see it in bulk. It's it's coming. The the spaceships are coming. Oh yeah, they are. Um, anything else? Yeah. So at least this weekend, basically only Stellaris. Then next week I want to get I want to finish Civilization off as, as sort of soon as possible. We are definitely in the end game. I mean we're throwing nukes left and right, so that should be spoiler by the way if you don't watch that, but it's uh it's pretty good. Uh Great Britain will of course return soon enough. Stardew Valley will also return. I'm still not done with the game. We're almost in the second year. I still need to finish up the community center as well. And Great Britain, well, we've sort of won, but I still want to get as many achievements as possible because I am playing on Iron Man. So we're still going to continue that one. Definitely Industrial Revolution. That one has to happen this game, and we're well on our way, actually. But beyond that, um, yeah. Stellar. I want to thank you all for watching, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with any Stellaris coverage in the future. There's going to be a lot of it. There's going to be so much of this. This. Ooh. I'm actually using this picture as my um, thumbnail as well in the Let's Play series. On this one at least. Just uh, coincidental maybe, but... So yeah, Stellaris.